So what's good family? I'm down here at Dennis Caribbean Cuisine and Street Food and I'm really really excited for this one. This is going to be the first Caribbean vlog that we've done on the channel and I know it's going to be a good one. A lot of people have been asking me to come down here and try out the food and I'm going to do just that for you guys. So with that being said, if this is the first time you've come across my channel, I want you to do two things. Number one, subscribe to the channel, put on the bell icon so you get notified every time we upload a brand new video. I go around and I release two videos each and every single week showing you guys some of the best places that you should go to and that you should eat at and also follow us on instagram as well that's where you're going to get access to the content that doesn't make it to the youtube channel all right but with that being said guys let's meet the owners and let's try out some of the food Um, co-owner with my brothers of the Dennis's, the street food Caribbean takeaway. It's, it, some people thought it was a restaurant, but it's actually a takeaway based here in Willanaw. Um, five brothers came together and created a plan based on one brother's vision. Um, I want to encourage people that if your families, if you have money, think smart about how you invest your money. Um, this has been a hard project. Um, it's got its fair shares of challenges, but it's very rewarding when you see the results of actually creating a shop, creating a business, creating something that your children can be proud of. Um, it's hard work, but worth it. For us, it was very important to bring something for the local community, willing or the black country, massive black country arcade. <laughs> and basically, we wanted to do a fusion between Caribbean food and street food and just kind of create a nice, pleasant, warm, bright environment for local customers to come in, get food, hopefully we're maintaining good customer service. Um, that's something that we're very strong on. And it's creating an environment that's positive, that's clean, and that's giving good food. That's important. If the food ain't good, why are you gonna come back? But what we would like to do, if anything's successful with this pilot, is have another branch in Birmingham, and then have a kind of like more restaurant focused bistro that people can actually come in and dine in and experience the food from the chefs. always been in the food trade to be honest and um, I decided to, to do it again but this time with the support of my brothers because normally when I do it I'm by, doing it by myself so it's always like a struggle uphill struggle or whatnot so I thought I'd call on the help of my brothers and that's where you get the name Dennis because it's Dennis surname uh, I think it was a take of um, a bit a bit of me and my brother because my brother he was doing street food anyway he was doing mix-up boxes and stuff like that I'm always known for the cuisine when I do weddings and stuff like that so we merged the two together and we're doing Caribbean cuisine and street food tapped into the general street food side of things on our, on our menu we've got things that you won't see on no Caribbean shop never mind most takeaway shops anyway as you can see on our menu we've got Fancy burgers, noodles, pasta, you know what I'm saying? It's all freshly done on the days. It's done to order. As you can see, Caribbean cuisine. We infused a whole lot, trying to invite more cultural people to come into the shop and come in and be welcome. You know what I'm saying? Not a typical Caribbean style thing. You know when you come in and like, and they got the screw face and whatnot. We're not, we're not doing that here, you know what I'm saying? It's nice and polite, all cultures are welcome. And that's it. That's where you can see the color scheme. It was more color, trying to bring in everyone from different walks of life basically. I'd like to say first of all the people that have come out so far thanks for your support and your love it's well appreciated and if you haven't reached here yet you're crazy you need to get down here ASAP yeah la, 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 la. all right cool so my food here it smells amazing it looks even better and I'm excited to actually taste this. I'm gonna give you guys just a quick preview of what it is that I actually have. So, take a look at that. Let me actually show you guys like this. You can see I got some fries here. I got some chicken strips. 
Uh, got corn on the cob there. I've got a waffle here. And then I also have a chicken burger here. But this chicken burger is fully stacked. It looks amazing. And once again, it just smells very, very good. I also got an extra side of wings as well. Can you see them? Them wings look legit. Smell really, really good as well. So, with that being said, let's get stuck in. Let me give the chips a try first. Dip in a bit of sweet chili sauce. Sorry, bro. Mm. Chips are nice. See you later. So because it's the biggest thing and it's staring right in my face, I'm going to give the burger a try. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Fully stacked burger that is. Let's give the burger a try. Now this is a big burger still, so I'm going to tackle it from the smallest side that I can. Mmm. That tastes proper, that does. That tastes proper. Mm. Take a look how full that burger is. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Take a look at that. So, they're not just using no little small chicken steak or anything like that, or a little chicken fillet. That is a massive piece of chicken that they're using within the burger. And they're filling it with salad, you can see as well. There's cheese as well on the top. You can see they've got the sauce there, and also got tomato as well. And, I don't know what seasoning they've put on this burger, but it tastes proper. All right, cool. So the burger, I'll be honest, I could have literally finished that, but if I do that, the video will go on to be too long. So, let's move on to these bad boys here the chicken strips now these once again they look seasoned very very well oh I can smell that as well it smells good all right so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna try it on its own first then I'm gonna try it with some of the sweet chili sauce mmm oh yes That tastes back in that does. Let me dip this in some of the sweet chili sauce. My days. I found the mix guys. If you ever come down and you have these strips, dip them in some sweet chili sauce. Elite. Oh my gosh. Seasoned, amazing. Bursting with flavors. As soon as you put it in your mouth. You can taste it straight away. No joke, no games. Bring up. I've got a waffle as well. So real quick, let me give the waffle a try. First and foremost, I like this. I've actually got pieces of chocolate on the actual waffle. You can't say no to chocolate. Mm -hmm. There you go. Some of the waffle there. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm going to try this. I'm take some of the waffle and dip some of the waffle in the sweet chili sauce. Days. Real talk, she's banging. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give the wings a try. So, these look quite bad. Look at that, look at those wings. It's a bit of seasoning. Look at the barbecue sauce around them. But this is a big one. Look at the size of them. It's like no small, minor, dega dega wing, wings. 
These are proper big bulky wings these are. So as we always do, break it in half. We'll do this one later. We're gonna start with this one here. Give it a taste. Yep, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. I love the twist of what these guys have done with things. Caribbean, not just Caribbean food, but Caribbean street food. That to me, I don't know about any of you guys, but I haven't seen that done before still. Yeah, I actually haven't seen that done before. Definitely has not been done in Wolverhampton. So that's a, uh, that's exclusively here. So you guys definitely have to make sure that you get down here and give this a try. Try out definitely one of the boxes that they have. It's at the bottom of the menu. You guys will see it. I think it's about the 10 pound box or something like that. Make sure that you give that a try from these guys. Mm. Guys, honestly, yeah, I'm full and I've got so much left. But look at this seasoning on corn on the cob. Let's give it a, let's give it a try. I'm gonna try it with the side that's got all the seasoning on, all the different ones. It smells proper as well, man. Mm. Yep. Papa. So family, I've just finished my food here and like guys like, I've pretty much finished the whole thing. Real talk, food elite. This is different, we haven't seen anything like this in Wolverhampton before so you guys have to make sure that you come down and you support this family run business. Okay. Make sure that you come down and make sure you support this family run business because the food is different, the food is elite. I've never really seen in Wolverhampton Caribbean food and it tastes bang on, it tastes amazing. So make sure that you guys go below and you guys check out their Instagram page, give them a follow, send them some love as well. And then just do the normal stuff. Make sure if you haven't already, give the channel a subscribe, uh, leave a comment, like the video as well. And secondly, go across to the Instagram and make sure that you're giving us a follow as well. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching today's video. And with that, I'm out.